And as somebody who's given Luke Skywalker life in in your own way, what what do you think Luke Skywalker is about? I think I think Luke's um, great power is his uh, his compassion, the, his his ability to feel what other people are feeling, mm -hmm. and his ability to uh, look at um, people more completely than even the franchise itself often does. You know, he he looked at Darth Vader and saw a person instead of just a monster, and yeah. um, that's 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 an extraordinary power, and I think it's one that we should all emulate. Is try one thousand percent agree with that, and that's I think my biggest problem with, with the last Jedi. Jedi. Yeah, is that he looks at a person and sees a monster instead of seeing a person when yeah, he looks well, at his nephew. He, What's your view on that? I probably he arguably saw that uh, that he was going to uh, kill Han. Oh, that's that's what I always figured that 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 would be that would be a trigger that would make Luke um, do something that drastic. First of all, you just blew my mind because I don't know if I've ever. <laughs> I never thought of it like that. Yeah, yeah. I love. I mean, it was. It was because it was because, because then it gets very emotional, right? Then it gets very emotional because he can. He, wow. he can see the future, as we know. Right, right, and and if he looks at his nephew, the son of Han, and says, "You're going to kill Han," you're going to kill could... your father instead of what I did, which was save my father. Right. And you're also going to kill my best friend, who uh, you know is as responsible as anyone for the uh, downfall of the empire. Right, right. And you can have that moment of doubt, right? Mm -hmm. um, standing over his body, and, and his sleeping. Hmm. Right, because in the script, or at least in the he's movie, not a, he's not a killer. Right, and you you know you do get that Rashomon effect um, during those retellings of that scene mm. and in in none of them he strikes him down in cold blood he just threatens the idea right like mm. like there, mm -hmm. there's never the actual striking it's always the temptation of the right. striking it's interesting that blows Look, my that, mind uh, yeah I've, I've never that's why i love like t sometimes talking about this to people who aren't just an echo chamber of like yeah i don't like the movie blah blah <laughs> but um it's a very interesting just, point of view. It yeah. is, it, and it, it validates that moment so much more because that was a huge moment for me. I was just like, didn't do that. But <laughs> I just, I, and you, you kind of stumped me a bit. I, I just still feel like he wouldn't, I guess, I guess, they, I guess. Well, you, you just have to ask yourself, what would make him desperate enough to do that? Right. Right. Because that is so, that is so outside his, um, yeah. his nature. But I feel like if he wouldn't have done that with Vader back then, he's so much more centered but, as a as a he person did, he now. Did, he did kind of do that with Vader though. When Vader says, "Oh, your sister," that's when that's when Luke gets pissed off and starts. And he has that his... that Anakin that Skywalker bloodline where he just gets very tempered. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. Yeah, it's interesting. Did you ever tell Ryan that? Because I bet you, I, I, I'm, I'm going to text Ryan after this and tell, man, I finally figured out why you did that horrific scene. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't even know why, but I found somebody who does know why. Um, well, that's 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 the real advantage of being a fan, you know, because wow. I, I was not I was not participating in the franchise at all when the the sequels came out. Right. And, uh, so as a fan, that that just that's what made sense to me.